Shopify dropshipping, what this entire channel is dedicated to talking about is a trap. Here's why. All right, so don't get me wrong. Okay, drop shipping is the best way, in my opinion, to make money online, at least when you're first starting out, okay? In my opinion, there's no easier way to make $10,000 a month profit from your laptop, okay? Let me get that out of the way. But this industry is just so, so messed up, especially recently. There's just so many misconceptions going around, and for that reason, it's making so, so many people fail and so many people lose money and so many people like going across the internet saying that it doesn't work just because that they went into it with the wrong mindset and i think that that's just caused by all this like guru marketing nowadays like you probably started shopify because you saw some ad of some dude driving a huracan talking about the shopify course okay it's just so messed up nowadays how people think that shopify is just about like you know driving foreign cars and going to bali and then you know typing on your laptop for a couple hours a day it is just it's so so wrong so this video is just trying to help those people who have the complete wrong mindset about Shopify dropshipping because it is really not easy. Like it is simple, but it is not easy. It's literally starting your own business. And I've always, always said this, but it is not easy. The reason I am making this video is because I get DMs every single day from people that are like, hey, you know, my store is failing, I'm about to quit, or hey, you know, this product didn't work, should I just give up? And just all this, like, it hurts my brain. It really, really does. Like, people think that failure is the end. Like, people think that failing with a product or a store is just like, the end of the world, okay? And I get it, like don't get me wrong, I'm not all high and mighty, I had that same mindset too when I went into it. In fact, after I failed my first store, I gave up on drop shipping for like a solid year. A year! If I had not given up, wow, I would've made a lot, lot more money. Failure isn't permanent, it isn't bad. It's necessary. You are not going to succeed without failing. In fact, the best way to succeed quicker is to fail quicker. Failure isn't like a reason to quit. It's a reason to keep going because it means that you're that much closer to your end goal. And the reason why you fail with your first product or your first store or whatever is just because you don't know what you're doing. And even the people that do know what they're doing, they fail too. I fail all the time. Some of the most successful people that I know test like 20 plus products a month. And you know what? 75% of those products flop, but they make their money back 10x on the small percentage of products that actually do well. I hate the people that fail with like one or two products or stores and say that the business doesn't work or it's saturated or something. Like you just don't know what you're doing, okay? That's, that's what it is at the end of the day. And maybe you do know what you're doing. Maybe you bought, you know, Joe Schmo's course and you think that you know what you're doing, but you're not gonna have a 100% success rate. No one, no one has a 100% success rate. It's just, it does not work like that. So that is why I think Shopify is a trap. I think that every kid who's like range 15 to 20 has seen some Shopify guru ads at one point in their life. And most of those kind of just make it seem easy just because that's what's going to benefit them because the more people buy their course, the more people start drop shipping, um, you know, the more it benefits them. And it's kind of messed up because like the people that it really like hurts the most is these ambitious kids. And then when they fail, when they lose all their money, then they just, they stop, they quit and they lose their ambition. And that's just messed up, okay? It, it's just, it's so, 
mind boggling to me, even though I know that I did that same exact thing. Not everyone is going to be successful. In fact, 90% of people are not, but everyone can be successful. And if you have been going at this for like two years or something, you haven't been making money, then there's something seriously wrong with the strategies that you're using. But 90% of the time, people are just giving up after like a couple products or like a couple stores or one product or one store. And that's just so, so wrong. So I beg you, please, if you're in a position where you have done nothing but fail, realize that everyone else is in that position too when they first start out. The most successful guru that you can think of failed with their first couple products or their first couple stores. I guarantee it. And if they didn't, then they failed with some of their products or some of their stores. Because again, no one has a 100% success rate. And even if you know everything in the world, you are just, you're not going to be able to make every product work or every store work. It's just, it's not how this works. So I really hope that this is able to help you if you are in a position where you're ready to give up or you're just like confused because I know that I was confused at one point in time and that's really just the whole point of this channel, okay? I just want to teach you and tell you the things that I did not know when I was starting out. And for that reason, it took me three months to make a single sale and six months to become profitable. And that's kind of a long time. So with the information that I'm sharing on this channel, I'm just trying to help a couple people just cut their learning curve and make money a lot quicker. So I really hope that this helped with that. And I really hope that you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video.